That's a good question. I, I would like to know more about what draws people to look at classical things in the world or read classical literature. Uh, Peter Meinek, my old colleague at NYU, had a great program that the NEH funded that put classicists in public libraries doing reading groups, reading not just ancient texts, modern ones too. And that was one of the only moments that I got a chance to talk with people who were interested in reading classical texts, didn't know much about them necessarily, uh, but who weren't students, you know, signed up for a class. And it was illuminating because of the variety. I mean, it's not a surprise, I guess, um, when I stopped to think about it, but there was a huge variety even in that group of, say, 40 or 50 people. Um, some people wanted to go back, some older people in particular, my age or older, wanted to go back and read a, a couple of classical texts because they remembered being entertained as kids by mythology, and they wanted to figure out why and learn, kind of get that system clear in their heads of Greek gods, Roman gods, what were they responsible for? And um, In a way it was like an anthropological curiosity. They wanted to ask questions about religious belief and think about how other people used to think differently. So for people like them, I think dates only mattered insofar as classical things were a long time ago. Um, other people I think, and I think of a group of younger uh, younger people in this library group, they had clearly grown up reading, uh, whether it was Harry Potter more recently or Tolkien when they were, you know, more my generation or older. And they also were drawn to the idea of the classical world as a, as, as like a fantasy world that they could understand and make a system out of. I was really, I was struck by the way people talked about the incredibly comprehensive imagined world that someone like Tolkien or C.S. Lewis devised, modeled of course partly out of their experiences, you know, deeply immersed in classical knowledge, and these people who, who thought of Middle Earth and you know, the Mediterranean world in much similar, in more similar ways than I had thought about before. I did think about this at the time a lot, and I've thought about it recently with Game of Thrones and its, and its appeal. Um, the idea that we know just enough about Greece and Rome, and I'm talking about people who are not professional academics, right? The idea that we know just enough about Greece and Rome to have a sense of what each stood for, but there's enough historical detail to make great, gripping historical drama, and it's really exciting to figure out how that worked. So there's that, there's the sense of you know, the ability to master uh, knowledge of a, of, an, of a time in history that everybody knows was really important for what came later. Uh, also, I think the pure decline and fall story that's built into ancient civilization, people find very appealing. How did the Roman Empire grow? How did it fall? How do people think about it at all the points in history? I mean, that, that's one of the reasons I'm interested in the Romans too. So.